Hey guys, we're back with the HP Microserver Gen 10, and today we're going to be doing a simple memory upgrade with our 16 gig kit. So these are two 8 gig DIMMs. Right now, what we have in there is one 8 gig DIMM. So I pulled up our system uh, info right here, and you can see we have 8 gigs of memory. We're going to go ahead and close out of this and power down this server, and we're going to upgrade it to. Uh, 16 gigs So while that power is down, we're gonna go ahead and disconnect all the cables from the server Unplug the power make sure we hit the power button after we unplug it to make sure We kill all the power out of all the capacitors just to make it safe And then I would make sure you have an anti-static band or something on just so there's no anti-static from your fingers When you're inserting this memory just to be on the safe side. I don't know how many times I've done it without it, but <laughs> Uh, I'm making a video, so I want to make sure doing your due diligence before you install memory, especially if it's not equipment you own. You want to make sure um, you're doing your due diligence and making sure you're protecting the equipment. So, like I said, I'm going to go ahead and unplug it. We're going to remove the cover, and then let's insert these new dumps. All right, we removed the two screws here. We pulled this back, and it just slides right off. So let's go ahead and turn this around. So let's go ahead and turn this around and you can see we have the one 8 gig dim. Now in theory we could just, I've said this in other videos, we can just take out one dim, put it in here, but I just like doing the same brand, same model, same speed, memory. Um, I just feel like the computer will perform um, the best it can. So just I just like using the same everything and this is a certified HP one. Um, but let's just go ahead and add in our Corsair Vengeance memory here. So you can see it's the DDR4, and this is 16 gig kit. So these are two 8 gig DIMMs. So let's go ahead and um, make sure you have these both pulled back. Make sure you line up the hole. Put it in, in the notch and then press down until you hear it click and, and make sure you push in these tabs here. So here's our last one. Make sure it's in the same area. Notch is in there. Good. Push down until you hear that click. And I would just make sure you firmly push down on each side to make sure it's in. Now let's go ahead and put the cover back on and turn this around and plug everything back in and power up and make sure it detects the new memory. All right, we plugged everything back in. We powered on our server. Now we are just waiting for it to fully boot up. Usually once you see this bio screen, you're usually pretty good if you're not hearing any beeping. If you're hearing any beeping, just make sure you are using the correct memory. Uh, it is DDR4. Um, I'll put a link in the description to the memory I chose for this particular model. Um, so you can get the right memory if you're upgrading. So you can see it, it now has detected Windows 10, so it's loading up Windows 10. I'll go ahead and pause it here, wait for the OS to boot up, since this might take a minute, and then we'll make sure it's reading the new memory in the system properties. All right, server is fully powered on now. We've loaded into Windows 10, so now we just go to our start menu and type in PC info, and then we launch that, and then we should see our 16 gigs now. So we went from eight to 16 gigs, on this little HP server. Um, so there you guys have it, it's that easy. Open up the back, make sure you're using DDR4 memory. There's a, a link in the description to purchase that memory if you're looking for that memory for your Gen 10 server. The Gen 8 uh, HP server does use DDR3 ECC low voltage memory, so keep that in mind if you have the Gen 8. Um, so that's it you guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. See you in the next one.